Yes. <clears throat> good afternoon, guys. So good afternoon for this uh, Monday session. So today we are discussing lecture 17, unit 2. In that the topic is plumbing techniques and fixtures. So in the Saturday's class, we have discussed about what are the various plumbing operations, what are the plumbing accessories, what are the plumbing fittings. Now in this class, we will discuss about the various plumbing fixtures and also the techniques associated whenever you are constructing any industry or a company or any house or an apartment. For every construction, it may be a house, individual house, apartment, shopping complex or any big gated community. Plumbing is very, very important in the design structure. So whatever the civil design structure, what you have mentioned, apart from that, you, should, you require a plumbing plan and wiring plan, so which plays a major role for construction of the house. So we'll see what are the various fixtures and the various things associated in the plumbing operations. Next. So what is the meaning of a fixture? Which fix? So in the last class we have discussed about fixture means which carries water in terms of plumbing. Are they current low fixtures means that is you are having a bulb holder or any bulb socket or any switchboard. These are called the fixtures for wiring, electrical wiring. For a plumbing, what is the meaning of fixture means a device, an instrument which carries water or which holds the water is nothing but a fixture. Now we will see in this class what are the various types of fixtures and their figures, how do they function irrespective to the application. So a, a fixture is a reacceptable, receptable attached to a plumbing system other than a trap in which water or waste can be collected or retained for the use for proper discharge into the drains, properly discharge into the drains. So what is the concept here? So it is a device or an instrument where the water is collected or discharged into the drains, into the drain. This is the meaning of the fixtures, right? Next. If you see the various types of fixtures associated for the construction of any plumbing, for construction of any plumbing, we are having, we are having the first one is the water closet. First one is a water closet, water closet. So what is the meaning of water closet? We will abbreviate this one as double. The water closet is popularly abbreviated as WC water closet. It is a device. It is a device for depositing human waste directly into a properly designed bowl or a pan. A for properly designed bowl or a plan. So what it is doing? It is depositing human waste directly into the properly designed bowl or a plan. Then the excreta. So simply we are saying it as a commode. Water closet means simply is a commode. Immediately extracted, immediately carried away by the water, which is flushed under pressure, which is flushed under a pressure. These pans are designed in connection with the flushing water under the pressure. So a water closet is a device where the human excreta is deposited and immediately carried away by the water under a pressure or manual force. So the instruments made for this type of fixtures may be generally of ceramic material. If you see in the railway stations, if you see in the train, so you don't have ceramic based closet. So if you see in a washroom uh, toilet of a train, in every train you can see the toilets and wash basins. So how they are made? These are made by using stainless steel. 
whereas in our house these are made by ceramic material why because of the weight carrying because of the weight carrying and also the strength so if you are using ceramic material you are using ceramic material in toilets or some other places what is the problem here the problems encountered here is the problems encountered here is so it is a commercial place train where you are using is a commercial public place public material transportation there the maintenance is a big problem so we have a tendency to break so ceramic material is a brittle in nature so this material will get break ceramic materials break out they got the commercial places slow train slow applicable power that's why they are using stainless steel sheet metal technology for preparation of the this wash basins as well as wash basins as well as the commodes right next next second one is a flushing system so these are the technical words we will we are using in plumbing so technical word for toilet seat and entry water closet okay next second one flushing system flushing system the flushing system attachment is designed to release a predetermined quantity of water under a pressure under a pressure in order to flush away excreta from the wc pans or urinals so flushing system is a simply nothing but it is a device where where already inbuilt water is stored in the already inbuilt water is stored in the system under a pressure where when you flush the water it will takes the excreta away from the pans or urinals that is nothing but a flushing system next third one is lavatory a lavatory is a fixture designed for washing of hands and face it is a fixture designed for washing of hands and fan hands and face so these are the devices where we are cleaning our hands and face sometimes called as wash basin so this lavatory is not nothing but a wash basin these like other sanitary fittings are designed in a standard form and various makes are found in the market so this are the lavatory is nothing but the place where it's a picture where we are we are cleaning our hands and face sometimes called as a wash basin so these are of various kinds and designs available in the market which are also made up of also made up of ceramic material next fourth one bath tub and shower a modern bathroom is provided with a bath tub and a shower for washing the body so mir movies lo chuse untaru or in any a big big uh, lodge uh, this uh, lodges or in any some other places or resorts you can see the bath tub and also the shower so these are also made up of stainless steel material or any ceramic material so generally pictures in the plumbing means whatever you are seeing wash basin bath tub shower sink commode these are all comes under the pictures of plumbing okay next next one bidet next one is a bidet a bidet is a oval shaped sitting fan provided in some houses and fashionable hotels by the side of the wc and the bath bath tubs so what is the meaning of this bidet this bidet is a oval shaped sitting fan provided in some houses and villas and luxury places where it is placed side of the this one and bath tubs the bidet is not only essential component of the bathroom fittings it is provided for the purpose of intimate washing especially for women it is furnished with the hot and cold water can produce an upward spray as desired for example just now up to now what you know is you are using a lavatory for human soil so when you are going washrooms you are using the commode for removal of the excreta so a bidet is a accessory or a fixture which is placed just to beside the your commode or wc water closet so these are generally used on generally used for in luxury houses or villas or any some other lodges or some other high ranged high ranged 
places so why so whenever you are doing whenever you are doing your normal flushing operation then you have to come and sit into the bed that is a oval shaped sitting then what what you are having you are having a hot and cold water where you are having a spray system where you are having a spray system which is used to clean the place so so i think you better understood this concept so this is placed beside the commode so manually the whenever you are not cleaning the waste so this is automatic device where if you switch on you are get hot water and cold water the spray it forces upwards and cleans the material there is nothing but a bidet next one is sink the sinks are large basin permanently installed in the kitchens kitchens wash for washing dishes pans etc for cleaning also vegetables and for brushing of the teeth sinks are provided with stoppers for keeping water in them and with an overflow device so sinks manaki are provided with the stoppers in for keeping water in them so manaki sink lag untundi so generally sinks untai kada so you are having a sink like this for example your figure sorry grot like a pen no? so if this is a sink here so manaki ikkada hole untundi so din paina tap untundi right din paina tapping system untundi ikkada so whenever you are not using din pakkane din din pakkane oka chain katti oka sink opener untundi so if you whenever you are closing this opener what happens you can store the water at this place odd anukunte kinda cap teesesthe the water will go outside so like this sinks are provided with the stoppers for keeping up the water in them and with an overflow device overflow device these are used for generally washing of vegetables washing of pans dishes and also for brushing the teeth and doing general face wash so these are the sink so if you see the figures if you see the figures clearly you can understand what are this pictures availability now see here see this 6.2 is a water closet tank type so generally manam ivi already bathroom so chuse untam so this is a side view this is a side view of the water closet or cupboard what are the companies so ivanni pakkana betesthe if you see this one make sudden ga meeku bathroom lo oka commode gurtochu then what is what is the device which company make this commodes you can see a paraver you can see a rasi you can see a uh, jaguar you can see comet so like this you are having number of companies where you can see the name at this place or on the on this on this place so this one is a this one is a metal device which is fixture which is used in the plumbing for plumbing process this is a water tank where you are having a water is stored here so the water is going under a pressure and hitting the places and it is going into the tank so like this this is a water closet which is a tank type this is a water mounted urinals so this one is a place where you can see where you can see just like a ceramic place where where you can see the railway uh, trains railway stations cinema theaters and etc so this is a top portion is the top portion is a flushing valve so flushing valve exaggerate just that you can see the flushing valve in this there in this way so this is your hand lever whenever you are pushing downwards whenever you are pushing downwards what happen whenever you are pushing downwards this lever comes down this is this makes the this joint making move up and downwards thereby there by the water inside it will flows down to the area where you are requiring right this is a wall next this one is a wall play wall mounted close tank water supply line so this is a generally wall mounted supply line where this is the tank storage of water here the water is flowing into this and it is coming in this direction this one is a wall mounted water closet so this one is the place where it is fixed for example this any device you want to fix before fixing into the wall first you have to take this closet a chair carrier for wall hung water closet you are having the bolts so you you have to first fix mount this one and fix to the wall later you have to keep the box on this one and this is a place where it is resting so like this you are having the water mounted water closet 
chamber right next see this one these are the various types of fixtures available what you have already seen everywhere whatever you are already seen everywhere see this one this one is a front face of the wash basin this is a where the water is coming down sink fitting so this one is a this one is a tap for flushing of the water so this one is a single single side so this one is a single side so this is a front view this is a side view this is a top view so if you see in the top view it is the places where you can stop it so when you get water by the kelpun or you are having a cap where you can close this place so these are the tap assemblies hot and cold water so these are connected to your pipe hot and cold water pipe right so with the help of the wall mechanism so this is nothing but one type of wash basin is nothing but also a plumbing fixture plumbing fixture next see this exploded view of apo plugged drain so these are used in the laboratory drains so this is the chain stay this is the chain where you are having a rubber plug to opening and closing so this is a locking nut this is always this is locked at this position this rubber plug is opened and closed so you are taking this rubber plug and keeping inside this thereby you can stop it or you can open the water pipe so like this you are having the lavatory where the water flow can be restricted next see this one service slope sink this is a service slope sink where you are having downwards a trap wrapping system the accessory and you are having a steep sink on it you are having a face it face it means a tap where it is connected to the pipe where the water is flowing into the sink through face it next if you see the types of face it hose a bib hose bib see the types of face it face it is nothing but the taps on various types of water releasing device so this is a face it where simply you are calling this as a tap so it taps already me chaala chota chuse unta right this is a simple mechanism simple device of a tap where you are having a normal type of opening and screwing type of material if you see some type of taps you are having just a valve opening and closing valve type open close open close if there any you are releasing through a thread so man ki ikkada lopala thread untundi if you see the explode if you see the cross section so man cross section view ila untundi the animated view ila untundi so this one is rotated thereby this this place this piece is going up coming down going up and coming down when this one is going up the water the water inside so man ki arrangement kinda nunchi ikkada vachindi kabatti water anedi ila vastundi man ki arrangement ila undi kabatti water anedi ila vastundi right so when this one is lever is going up water is coming out when you are pushing down the water is arresting so ee madhyalo eppudaithe meeku threading threading ki ee wall space ki lopala arigi potundo threading sarigga kudarakunda arigi poyindo for long usages then automatically step by step drops of water is falling down entha meer tight chesina kuda drops of water vastundi eppudu vastundi when depends upon the usage how you are using for a long run like this because of the erosion because of the metal consumption takes place in between the places friction develops and the metal erosion takes place at the place you are getting the leakage right next this one is a cut wave cut away wave of a shower pan and shower pan drain so shower shower this bathroom so corner lo untu drain where the waste water is going into the tap going into the this pipe and going into the drain outside so this is the upper face of the upper face of the strainer so these are the tiles where you are having the moisture drain pan this is the upper flange the the seepage flange so this is a place where this is a platform where you are placing the tiles on the top so these are the traps traps we mentioned in last class to tell you what are the various types of traps right these are accessories and these are the fixtures so this is a cut wave view of the shower pan drain next wall mounted drinking fountain so this type of things generally you can see in a shopping malls or in movie cinema theaters or in any trains any high end 
frames. These are also one type of fixture available in the plumbing system. Next, flush tank process. Next device is a flush tank process. So this is a transparent weave of flush tank process. This one is a plastic ball. If you open the commode, if you open the commode in the western type, in a western type of uh, laboratory, if you open the commode or top lid open this and condi, you can see this type of ball, right? So whenever you are flushing, the water will slowly comes down and goes to the drain from the bottom. So whenever you are releasing this flusher, then you see this this knob. In the process, the water and the tailboard. Tarata, whether it's a plane or the automatically from other end, the water is coming, filling slowly. So danger from this is a this ball acts as a leveler, level indicator. So to certain level it comes and it will stop. So water level begins to lower down, flapper wall opens, automatically this takes place. Okay, lower and release flush handle, rise flap wall and chain. So this happens automatically. There is no current aim option on the row. Just you are flushing it, so it is going, water is releasing out, just you are going to the back position, automatically the water fills and the stores there. Now if you see the bath stub fixture, the bath stub and shower piping arrangement, what's showing here, so these are the two levers, hot water or cold water. So a cold water supply wall, hot water supply wall. These are the hand wheels, this one is a diverter, this one is a spout or simply a tap or face it we can call. So tap pipe in general, other pipe is constructed and showing in this way. This one is a shower bar, this one is a shower head. So this is also one type of plumbing fixture where this type of settings we can see in modern or in good type of bathrooms, right? These are also some type of fixtures available. Next. Let's see this one. These are the these are the commodes. These are the various types of commodes where you can see the siphon type of system. See here, whenever you are flushing this wall, flushing this wall, the water is flushed here, flushed here, and goes into this gap, goes into this gap and fills the area. So if you see some other commodes, you are having a circumference, small, small holes. Inside you're having a small holes where the water should flow in this direction flow in this direction thereby it may it makes a it makes a whirlpool action whirlpool action with some pressure and suddenly goes out sorry and suddenly goes out into this into this pipe and making a direction change and going into the drainage so why you are designing in such a fashion because when it's a straight pipe it because of the gravity pull some amount of waste material will show at the bottom, it will not go. So whenever it is in a curved shape, it takes direction. For example, here it takes some direction, it flows with some high intensity, high pressure, and from here again you it goes in gravity pressure, and again it goes into the horizontal way, suddenly it goes into the drain pipe. So this is a way of flowing of the waste, waste water with the solid waste coming out of the mold. This is a siphon jet bowl. This is a method is nothing but a siphon jet bowl. This is nothing but the pedestal urinal. So you can stand here and you can use this pedestal type of urinal. Pedestal means where you can where you can see on the roadside, not, not in India, in other other countries where it is a very developed countries on the roadside. So on the roadside you can see this type of pedestal urinals. Next, common wash down bowl. So this is the other type of commode where the water is stored at certain level, where the water is stored at certain level. So generally you can see some water is stored at certain level where, where even though you are pumping the water, see this one ball, right? Now on last, last, last slide we have seen the ball this way, right? So if this is the front view, the side view you can see the ball like this. So like this, we are having various types of commoding system for flushing of the water next next thing is basic techniques in plumbing next concept is the techniques in the plumbing so there are various types of there are there are three types of plumbing techniques pipe cutting pipe threading and pipe component fitting 
So if you see the first one, the pipe cutting, you can see the first one is the pipe cutting. So in this pipe cutting, in this pipe cutting, they are having various types of materials. We can use various types of materials for pipe. In the pipe cuttings, various types of pipes are generally used. I mean, last class to accessories, what are the various types of pipes we are using? Steel pipes, galvanized iron, GI pipes. We are using plastic pipes. In that plastic, we are having various types of pipes. We are using PVC pipe, HDPE pipe, right? UPVC pipe. So like this, we are using various categories in the plastic pipe fittings. Now, what is the first technique? How to cut a pipe? Pipe cutting process. So in the pipe cutting process, the chipped or damaged ends of the asbestos cement pipes are likely to produce non-watertight joints. Such ends should be cut off. So in the first point though, Whenever you are using the cement asbestos pipe, pipe body pipes, big diameter pipes. So there, whenever you are cutting the pipe for required length according to your application, so the ends, the damaged ends, the damaged ends are not producing non-water types. So a damaged ends is circular like a pote. Whenever you are making a joint and fitting with the other pipe, automatically leakages and as it happens or the be. So in order to restrict those leakages, what you have to do, you have to such ends should be cut off, such ends should be trimmed. So such ends should be trimmed thoroughly, so thereby whenever you are going for a second pipe joint by using some connectors, by using some accessories, it will not give proper operation. Proper connect out only. But whenever the water is flowing, automatically you will get the leakages. Yes. Next one. Second point. For small diameter pipes, the ends may be cut with a hand saw. So small diameter pipes, water supply cues just produce maybe a PVC pipe or maybe any uh, galvanized iron pipes. We are using a hand saw or hack saw, which are quicker and usually give a better results. So yellow cut just we are using two two devices. One is hand saw, one is a rump pump. Hack saw is a power hack saw where the quick operation can be done with a good result. A single pipe cutter is available than that can cut piece of pipes into two inches to six inches. Two inches to six inches. A single pipe cutter, a single pipe cutter on a device which can cut two inches to six inches pipe diameters. So in in this pipe cutting we are having a single pipe cutter, hacksaw cutter where it can cut Two inches pipe, three inches pipe, four inches pipe, and five inches pipe cutter diameter. Next, another model is hydraulic pipe cutter. So another model in the pipe cutting machine is one is handsaw, other one is hacksaw, other one is a hydraulic pipe cutter. Another model is hydraulic pipe cutter, which involves wrapping a cutting chain around the hydraulic pipe, which involves the wrapping a cutting chain around the hydraulic pipe cutter, and then hand operating the hydraulic pump and then hand operating the hydraulic pump. Next. Next, fourth point. The steel pipes can be cut to length with metal hacksaw. So whenever you are using the steel pipes, there is a device nothing but a metal hacksaw where you can cut the steel pipes. But it is more usually to employ, but it is more usually to employ manually operated heavy duty pipe cutters. So the steel pipes can use the metal hacksaws for cutting other pipes, but more usually to employ manually operated heavy duty pipe cutters. So for everything, you require a manual oper man an operator to cut the heavy duty SS or any alloy steel pipe material. Next. Special pipe cutters are available for PVC pipes. So PVC pipe in cut shade and we require special pipe cutters, usually capable of cutting pipes of several sizes. So metal pipes cut shade and key, PVC pipes cut shade and key, cement pipes cut shade and key. We are having separate cutting devices, right? Next. 
for pvc pipes using cement solvent it is helpful to join if both male and female ends are roughened with the sandpaper so pvc pipes is for when you are going for a joining of two pvc pipes there is a need there is a need there is a need for for roughing the sandpaper smooth ga unnapudu when you are going for making a joint in between the two pipes you require a connector so clearly smooth ga unnapudu there is a possibility of slipping action takes place between the junction or a connector and the pipes so thereby thereby we have to rough the edges of the connector as well as the pipe then only there is a possibility of fixing properly so if you put a one example you are having a pipe here right we are taking we are taking a u shape a v shape t shape t shape the accessory and put this is a fitting so other thing you are having other pipe here so this pipe and this pipe we should be fixed into this point at the center location then you are roughing this area you are roughing this area you are roughing this area you are inside keeping the sandpaper and roughing the surfaces of the area surface of the area right then you are made to fix this pipe into this accessory by using solvent methods like this you have to join the pipes next second category second technique is pipe threading second second category is the pipe threading so if you are taking a steel pipes or plastic pipes or any type of pipes so threading must be necessary if you if you are taking a cement pipes there is no possibility of making the internal or external threads so there is a possibility for pvc pipes and as well as a ms pipes or any steel pipes in order to make the internal threads or external threading so the steel pipes are jointed by threaded couple sockets or by screwed on flanges in either case a pipe a cut pipe will require a new thread so what it is saying so the other technique in the pipe plumbing is threading operation so if you are using the pvc pipes or steel pipes or ms pipes so threading must be compulsory for example if you are taking a running feet running feet me ki 10 length gaani 12 12 feet gaani untundi so if you are taking a running feet so meer apply chese tappudu ee 12 feet lo meeku only meeku only oka 6 oka 5 feet kavali so then 5 feet cut chesin tarvata by using pipe cutters then em cheyali this pipe so leave this pipe so you are taking this pipe and connecting in the some other place in the some other joint so when you are doing that type of things so directly connecting placing in the hole and making a solvent is not 100% perfect then what you have to do you have to thread externally or you have to thread internally so if you see the hollow pipe external threading and internal threading by tapping system so by taps so we can give a threading threading couples for the flanges that is a must for joining any pipe into the traps or any this joints okay either uh you can join internally or you can join externally depends upon the application so like this like this uh the threads are useful for making the joints for any length of the pipe next next one is connection of pipes and fixtures when a water supply system includes a pipe distribution network the water must water mains must be tapped to make the connection of such outlets and public stand stand pipes means when now you are using the water supply water draining adu manaki water supply isukunappudu so there will be the network a distribution network where the water must be tapped and make connection for such outlets such as public functions public toilets stand posts for private connections to individualized houses or public governments or public buildings next point in this days nowadays the connection pipes are normally plastic or pvc why if there is any problem if there is any problem at the connector when now when now if you are using a metal type of connectors 
there will be a maintenance or there will be a problem of removing and you are making a new one for example if you are using the plastic pipe such as pvc or polyethylene the galvanized steel pipe is likely to have a shorter life loses capacity due to the entrustation and can lead to water losses due to the rust or zinc spelter beginning i mean beginning embedded in the washers and so preventing water type closure so what is this point saying whenever you are using gi material connectors there is a loss of capacity due to the due to the encrustation and can lead water losses due to the rust or zinc spelter becoming embedded in the washers so whenever you are using the metal type of connectors there is a problem there is a there is a possibility of water losses due to the rust so rust when now the rust happens what happens the water will get polluted the water will get uh, some other odorless or something odor odor smell and also the zinc spelter becomes embedded in the washer so washer places flow zinc whatever the uh, ingredients added in the pipe making so the zinc can be it enables not for a short run for long run it enables and embedded on the washer and so preventing water type purification it is the next point for the last point all outlets all outlet taps should have a stop cock stop cock on the line between the main and tap to permit repairs to the tap if the connection key is needed the stop cock is located downstream of the water so as as you are having a upstream upstream and downstream intermediate you are having some setup right so at the outlet shop or the outlet tap should have a stop cock on the line between the main and the tap to permit repairs of the tap so if the connection is meter the stop cock is located downwards to the downwards stream of the matter so you should provide a proper a proper system from the top portion down upward stream to the downward stream through proper outlets then only the water will go in a proper fashion or else what happens or else there will be a chance of getting repairs or any problems whenever the pipes are overflowed in the water system so like this these are the various types of pipes the piping techniques the pipe cutting pipe threading pipe connection of pipes and fixtures so see this the various uh, fixtures so if you get any question in this type of uh, unit what are the various types of fixtures explain any one you can take a bath tub or you can take a commode or you can take a wash basin or a sink and you have to draw a 2d diagram representing all right with your own thinking right so bathroom lo ela untundi or else just visualize how it will be looking like then you have to proceed so like this you are having various types of fixtures assembly how the water is flowing inlet and outlet right so you can draw as you like any 2d line diagram and can show clearly for example if you have to draw this type of bath tub show shower pipe so you can draw a shower first shower for shower you are having a pipe so it is connected to the i shape or l shape uh, you are uh, this walls hand wheel then automatically the water from here or from this the north is open it is coming from this bath tap or it may be called as a faucet like this you can draw any type of figures and can explain clearly what's happening in this plumbing system what's happening in the plumbing system so with this the plumbing techniques and the plumbing fixtures is completed right so what are the main plumbing fixtures and tnt the water closet the flushing system the lavatory the bathtub the head and the sink right right so the fixtures the walls right the facet the wash basin 
the 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 yes the left and the the tap open view of a metal tap open view of metal tap this one is the drain place where the water is going out next one is the washing tank where the water is stored temporarily right right any doubts still here so what are the fixtures don't get confused the difference between the plumbing fixtures and plumbing fittings or accessories so plumbing fixtures and a which will hold the water for a certain time or it will look like in a bigger shape when compared to the fittings so if you take all the ceramic things this are all comes under plumbing fixtures and also some metal objects so if you take the fittings you can see the traps the screws the angular plates right so these are some of the accessories and fittings used in this pvc material pvc material right so like this you are having various plumbing fixtures and accessories in the next class we will discuss what are the various types of plumbing system so in any multi stories or a single building you are having one piping system and a two piping system next one how to design a building drainage system based upon the uh, catered community and the more than 50 families or 80 families are living we are going to mass catered company right catered buildings so when or you are using a single story building or a multi story building one pipe system and two pipe system are very very important to discuss and also we will discuss what is the design of building drainage system so how to design a building drainage system what are the assumptions based and what are the steps involved in making the building right so with this we will conclude this session with this we will conclude this session uh today today very few members one two three members are present in this class very very few i don't know what happened okay right so these are the topics covered covered now so tomorrow we'll have other topic to discuss in detail right last one the join the angels tarama sam navin is joining now so if you have any doubts just open your mic just open your switch on your mic and you can talk okay no doubts shall i close okay i take the screenshot only four members are present my senior classes ki this classes ki no uh, similarities so i exams are there my classes meet untai some cases uh, when all the faculty is going for invigilation at time lo my classes undagapochu whenever you get the link for any subject be available and just listen the classes so once this uh, session is completed i will upload this video in the youtube just have a look and make a like symbol right so thank you thank you for listening have a nice day tomorrow my classes my class will be at normal timing that is at 11:40 to 12:20 be available and increase your attendance number so this number is very very low my third years are coming regularly more than 25 28 they are coming your fourth year students just more than more than 10 enter kraled in our class so i don't know why so keep maintenance keep your attendance in a proper way and come to the class regularly so if you have any doubts just to open your mic and you can talk to me nothing to share can i close it okay
ఓకే థ్యాంక్ యూ థ్యాంక్ యూ వన్ అండ్ ఆల్